What's up guys, my name is Fred and today I'm going to show you how you can actually draw with diamonds. So, and by that I mean actually if you look here, you can see here her eyes. These are kind of like diamonds effect and I'm going to show you how you can actually create a pattern, diamond pattern and then you can draw with it. For example, let's say I want to draw a diamond line and so on, you see, I can draw and it draws with diamonds and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to find the right image and for example here I have um, this kind of image. Okay, and you can find this image just if you go to unsplash.com and then just type diamonds or whatever and you can type something similar and then you will be able to find different images. So now uh, the first thing we need to do, of course we need to put our image inside Photoshop and when we have done that we're going to create a pattern from this image. And how are we going to do that? So first of all let's take this tool here, rectangle and marquee tool let's say, and we need to select the area, for example let's say this is going to be our pattern area, like this. And now when we have this selected, just select your image and press here to create the mask. And now we can see only the selected area. The next thing we need to do actually is we need to delete this background layer here. So basically we need it to be empty. And now we need to make our um, area, our working area really, really small. So we need to go here and choose here a cropping tool, crop tool. And when you crop, before you crop actually make sure you don't have anything here. So you can just press clear in order to make sure you don't have anything here. Because this actually helps us to set the ratio of the cropping. For example, if I make it 1 to 1, then the cropping is going to be only in squares. But in our case, if you look here, this is not a square. Okay, so that's why we need to press clear. And uh, now we can crop this thing. So it has to be like this. Get closer. Make sure there is no empty space left because if you look empty space it's going to be uh, in the pattern as well like this is fine and I'll just press ok of course uh, if we if we get closer it doesn't look like diamonds at all but from far away it will look like diamonds trust me and now when we have done that let's go to edit and press here I mean choose here define pattern and I'm going to call it diamonds too because I did already create this once diamonds too ok now uh, everything is set up, let's go to file and press new and we just need to create a new working area for example, it doesn't matter really what kind of properties you have here, let's just press create and let me take an image, for example this one, the one that I was working on, place it here, make it bigger a little bit and let's press ok. So now if you go here choose the um, pen tool, you can choose the normal pen tool or you can choose the curvature pen tool which helps us to create curved lines automatically but this pen tool is not available in all versions of Photoshop, it's only available in the newer versions so 2017, 18 and 19. If you have an older version then you're probably going to have only pen tool. But I'm going to work with this one but in general it doesn't really matter what you're working with, the only difference is that this is drawing straight lines and if you want to make curves then you have to make it manually. This is drawing automatically curved lines. Anyway, let's choose curvature point tool. Let's go here and choose here shape because normally we're going to have here pass, but we want a shape. And when you have done that, press on stroke and choose the third option here. So you have here normal colors, gradients, and patterns. This is what you want. And choose the last pattern that you created this one. The next thing you need to do, you need to press here on fill. Make sure you have first thing selected. That means that there's going to be no fill color. And also make sure that the width of our line is 4 pixels approximately. I'm going to show you what it does later. So just make this 4. And uh, now for example if I start drawing anything, let's say, uh, let's just say, let's, let's just do, do it here. For example, I can press like this. And as you can see, it's creating diamond lines automatically. Like this. For example. Now uh, if I just press here, open the layers panel and just press here on the empty place the line is gone and now we can see the diamonds and this is going to be here on our shape layer if we turn it on, it's gone, if we turn it on I mean if we turn it off, it's gone, if we turn it back on, of course we see it so basically if you want to make it now uh, thicker, bigger bit, uh, you can just go here uh, let's say you make it 10 pixels, press enter and as you can see it's bigger you can make it even 1 pixel it's thinner but I would suggest doing 4 pixels at least that's what I was doing in my project and it was looking very really nice it actually looks kinda nice but in my project as you saw I just did the eyes and this is just this was just an example where was it? okay 
And of course you can continue drawing, for example, let's say you want to draw something else right now, let's say her eyes, and you can just press, and it's going to automatically create a new layer here, and as you can see now it's on her eyes, again 4 pixels, looks awesome. So you can actually do this kind of pattern with any other objects as well, for example, let's say not diamonds, but let's say gold, and you just need to find the right image if you want to do gold, for example, this one would be nice, this one actually also could be nice or like you know other stuffs like stones and I don't know water maybe you never know like you can experiment and create lots of different stuff so guys if you like this tutorial make sure you follow me because I'm going to create lots of new unique tutorials every week and also you can follow me at Flash Gallery where I create really tons of unique artworks that you probably haven't seen anywhere else and if you want to learn Photoshop from zero to pro so I'm by pro I'm in really really advanced stuff that not even all pros know then make sure you go and check my course which um, the link is in the description so see you guys to the next lesson bye